Hello and welcome back. My name is Josh Kinney and in this tutorial I'll be taking you step by step on how to create a tab gesture. Then when you click on the tab gesture it takes you from one view to a new view. Now this is done by using a navigation link so I'll combine these two together and I'll show you just how to do that. I've been seeing videos out there recently about the navigation link and how to go from one view to the other as well as how to replace a button with this tab gesture. However, I'm not seeing too much cover on how to use both of those together. So let's go ahead and All right, so now let's look at what we have. We have the content view here. It says hello world. Um, we're going to go ahead and rerun this to make sure that that's what that's saying. There it is. And then we have a funny dog view here that's just a picture of a dog with some corner radius and a black background. All right, let's go to content view and let's go ahead and create this where when we tap on this text here, instead of a button, it's going to be a tap gesture. It's going to go over to that dog view. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and change this text to be something that makes more sense. And we'll say, see a funny dog. Okay, there it is. Then we're going to add some padding to this. And then we're going to go ahead and add our tap gesture. All right, so the code here is add code to fire off navigation link. Okay, and then so right underneath here is where the code's going to happen to fire off this navigation link that we're getting ready to create. Okay, so but first off, to do a navigation link, we need to have a navigation view. But first, I'm going to do a, a VStack first. Because uh, we're going to add a second one of these texts in, uh, at the end of this so you guys get more practice. But then inside here, we're going to embed a navigation link as well. Oh, I'm sorry, a navigation view. Goodness. So you got your navigation view so you can see your navigation link. And then you have a V stack because we're going to have two texts and we want them to stack on top of each other. So now, now that we have this, let's go ahead and enter our navigation link. Let's go right underneath this tap gesture. Okay, right here, and just type in navigation link. And then we're gonna go down here to this binding. So we have a title, we have a destination, and then we have a is active, and it needs a binding variable. Okay, so the title, we don't want it to set it to anything, but I will put test so you can see why I don't want to set it to anything. Um, we're gonna make our destination that funny dog view. And then the is active, we need to go ahead and create that private or that uh, binding variable here. So do at state var is dog tapped is what I want to name it. And we're going to set this to false. You set it to false because if it's true, then this will go ahead and trigger. And we don't want it to trigger yet. Not until this text is done. So now we're going to go ahead and do our famous dollar sign. And then is dog tapped. So now that's going to change as soon as this is changed. And then in this tab gesture, now you can do other things when you click the tab gesture. For instance, you can change colors of things. You can do a print statement. You can, you can do all kinds of stuff. But for this video, we're only going to work on changing the view. So how do you do that? Is dog tapped? We can set that to equal true. Because if it's true, then this is going to change to true. And then this is going to say, hey, if it's true, go ahead and do my navigation view or my navigation link to the funny dog view. That'll work. A faster way for this, or a better way in my opinion, is do dot toggle, and then it'll do the opposite of whatever it is set up here. So if it's false, it's gonna automatically toggle that to true whenever this is tapped. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at this real quick. And you're gonna see, not only see a funny dog, but you're gonna see this weird test right there. I don't like that, because that is the name that we gave it right here. So that's why I keep this blank. So an empty string, um, go ahead and rerun that. And we'll see that now that's gone, we click on see a funny dog. And there it is, the funny dog pops up. Okay, now let's do this one more time. I'm gonna stop that. And we're gonna do this with a cat. So I have a funny cat view that if you can guess, it's exactly like the dog, except it is a funny cat. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our content view. Underneath this, um, tap gesture we're going to go ahead because now we're still in this v stack we're going to make our text actually we're just going to copy this exact same stuff here copy 
paste, see a funny cat instead of a dog. Okay, padding, tap gesture is dog, but we're gonna make a cat tapped. We can copy this. And then up here, let's add that state variable because we're gonna need to follow that as well. And we're gonna set that to false too. Okay, so now that it knows what that is, it's going to, whoa, what just happened? Oh, because I misspelled. Is now knows, hey, is cat tap, toggle that. And then we gotta make another navigation view here. And we are going to type that out, navigation. And then we're gonna go down, oh, navigation link not view sorry guys I keep saying that this is the navigation link which is going to take us to the next view the navigation view wraps everything and that's how you'll get that back button that you just saw when I did went to the um, funny dog view which I'll show you again so let's go ahead and grab that binding same exact thing we're gonna make that uh, string nothing we're gonna make the destination a funny cat view initialize that and then is active we're going to do is cat tapped and then you got to do the dollar sign so it updates because it is binding it's binding to this right here so let's go ahead and run this and see what it looks like so funny dog boom and since this is a navigation view now this this view takes that navigation view as well and it automatically gives us a back button there now let's try the cat and there it is. It is that simple, guys. So let's go over this one more time very, very quickly. You need to make a state variable or a binding variable so you can basically watch this is active. Whenever it goes true, then this fires, okay? And then inside the tab gesture, which is this a dot modifier or a modifier of dot on tab gesture, you're just going to toggle this actual state up here. So toggle that and then it'll go ahead and trigger and get you to the next view. Okay, so this was a very short one, guys. I hope this made sense and some of you guys learned something from this. If you, if you did, go ahead and give me a likes. If you want to see my upcoming content, hit that bell. And if you have not done so yet, please hit that subscribe button as I'd like to get my content out to as many people as I can so I can help them as well. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.